All right, and we are back on air. This is Good Morning Kenya Entertainment Thursday, and my name is Vivian Dagwa. Now, before we get back to the music and get to talk to uh, the, next, the, the next artist who is right here with us in studio as well, I want us to get into a topic that concerns you. Yes, you as a young person, I am sure that this particular topic will be of importance to you, and that is job opportunities and studying abroad. And I am joined by the Director General, One Team Career Coaches. Uh, he goes by the name Innocent Kip Kimboy. Thank Innocent, you. thank you. Welcome very much. to Good Morning Kenya. Asante. How are you doing this morning? Fine, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> my name is Innocent Kip Kimboy. I am the Director and CEO of One Team Career Coaches Kenya. Mm -hmm. And this is um, a, a, a company that deals with um, assisting people relocate from Kenya to abroad uh, for studies. Mm -hmm. and job opportunities and uh, we are based in Eldoret yeah thank you all right uh, before you came in I'm sure you saw that we were dancing we were listening to some music <laughs> <laughs> are you really into music uh, like that uh, do you enjoy music do you love uh, to actu dance actually I used to rap I wanted to be a musician oh, really? so, uh, I wanted to be a musician when I was <laughs> growing up unfortunately one thing and being and having the talent are two different things yeah and then uh, we ended up in the corporate world, and sometimes maybe what you want is not what you get, and sometimes God has something else for you. Mm -hmm. And um, so this is this where is, we are now. This is where we are now. And, <laughs> and right now, God. yeah, you yeah. work with young people still yeah, and um, um, <coughs> working on how to get them jobs abroad. And there's a question I have. Exactly. We have so many young people who would love to relocate. You know, either f to go work or to go find jobs, but we we are concentrating on um, school yes. right now. Um, and w why do you think that is um, so? Like, why is it actually, that we have so many people who want to go abroad? Actually, uh, there is a very high demand of move, of moving abroad, and um, everywhere you go now in this country, be it here in Nairobi, Eldoret, uh, Mombasa, every part people are planning to go. And people are taking passports in large numbers. Mm -hmm. And um, so for us now, when you have your passport, that is when you come to us. Mm -hmm. And that is where we start our consultancy. Mm -hmm. You come to us, you tell us, like, uh, I have my passport and I'm thinking of relocating. So we are the experts now who will tell you that um, these are the countries that are available and these are the opportunities that are available. At the moment, majority of our Kenyans, they are going to America, mm -hmm. they are going to Canada, they are going to UK and many parts of Europe and also um, Australia. In fact, Australia now, the number of uh, Kenyans in Australia is increasing probably in the next five years mm -hmm. or by the end of 10 years, we might have around 1 million people who will have migrated from Kenya to settle abroad. And actually, why do people want to settle abroad? Why are people so, why is the demand to go abroad? Mm -hmm. First of all, abroad is first world. Majority of the countries we talk about are first world countries. These are countries that have serious opportunities. Mm -hmm. They are industrialized countries. Mm -hmm. Their industry runs 24 seven and they need people to run these uh, industries. Mm -hmm. So majority of these countries, they have good pay and they have good better, uh, better living conditions. So someone who is earning, uh, let's say, 100,000 in Kenya, mm -hmm. when you relocate, let's say, to Canada, you will be in a position now to earn uh, three or four times what you are earning here. And when people think about those opportunities or the kind of opportunities like those ones, mm -hmm. they cannot even think twice. They'll immediately tell me, hey, what can we do? And I'll be able now to assist. I'll be able now to, um, to consult and show them the way. So why are people going to study more than... Uh, to than, study than, than anything else. Mm -hmm. Studying is the most important, uh, is, the mo is, the, is, the, is the only uh, leeway or the only path that is able to take masses. For example, jobs, jobs cannot come in, in thousands. Mm -hmm. But study, there are so many universities. And the reason as to why these universities um, are so lucrative is because like in Kenya, um, we export tea and coffee, mm -hmm. and tourism. Mm -hmm. For these people, they have built world-class universities, and they rely also uh, on exporting education. 
That is why they'll want you first to come as a student, even if there is a job. You first come as a student and then get to know the place, get to know the world, and then you will automatically get a job. Mm -hmm. So the only way that is the easiest, the most legitimate path is the study path. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, they'll have, get, uh, they'll have gained their foreign exchange, which is, um, which is exporting education, mm -hmm. just like we export, um, we export tea. Mm -hmm. So why do, we, um, why do we say you come to one team career coaches? One team career coaches, first, what we do is we analyze. We analyze um, different countries mm -hmm. in different parts of the world and different schools mm -hmm. and different opportunities within those schools. Mm -hmm. You cannot just go to a place that we have not gone fast. So as the director, I go to many parts of the world. I go around the world, ensuring that um, when I tell you that I'll take you to, um, uh, to Canada, mm -hmm. or when I say I'll take you to Australia, I've been there first. Mm -hmm. I've seen how life, uh, life goes there. Mm -hmm. I've seen the school. I've seen the environment. What are the, what are the job opportunities abroad uh, available within the circle? Mm -hmm. So that when you go there, immediately you just step in the school, I'll be able to tell you that there is a job opportunity around the school that you'll be able to arrive today and maybe even start tomorrow or in a week. Okay, there's so, another question I have uh, yes. uh, still on that. How do you decide or how do you pick for a particular person, the country that they go to? Do you just let them decide for themselves? Do you mm. um, advise them? Maybe I'm coming to you and I'm telling you, I want to go to Canada to study. Do you just uh, go with it or <coughs> you can give me options? You could tell me, well, Australia, you do better in Australia. How do you go uh, about that? First of all, every world that's called first world, that's the developed world, mm -hmm. it's almost the same. A little bit differences in uh, maybe the price of, uh, of, their, of their value, of their dollar. Mm -hmm. For example, a Canadian dollar to Kenyan shilling, a, a, a pound, British pound to Kenyan shilling, or um, Australian dollar, so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. But the, the bottom line is that almost these countries, they're almost the same. If it's different, it's just a little bit different, maybe in terms of weather and um, small factors. So when you come, and um, uh, first of all, majority of those people who come, they have already made up their mind. They know, like, we want this particular country. Mm -hmm. So someone comes and tells me, I want Canada. And maybe by that time, Canada is, um, is a little bit more expensive. I'll be able to give them my options that are available, maybe cheaper options. Mm -hmm. And then they'll be able to give me also their, 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 their thoughts. The second thing is about accommodation. By the time someone wants to go to Australia, they, maybe they know someone there. So that when they arrive, they'll be picked even from the airport, they'll be assisted, they'll get a house and all that. So majority of the people, they always have an idea. And then assuming like you have no idea, totally you have no idea, you just say like, where can I go? Mm -hmm. I'll be able to tell you that this is the best destination, this is the cheapest school. Because we want our people to have, um, to go to the cheapest and the most affordable schools mm -hmm. so that they don't strain their backs. So I'll be able to advise you now, if it's Canada, I'll tell you these are the cheapest universities, the cheapest colleges, depending with your age and the kind of course that you want to go and, and study. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you help them get placements in this particular university now, from the get-go. While they're living here, they already know the university that they're going to go uh, to. Or in, the school in, in, fact, in fact, this is how the process goes. Mm -hmm. When you come, um, we, we analyze schools. We choose one school. And then what we do, we write for you what we call a um, statement of purpose. We assist you. Mm -hmm. We don't even write. We assist you. A statement of purpose, or SOP, is a statement that entails, um, that explains why you want this particular school in this particular country. Mm -hmm. So we will be able to help you write that statement of purpose mm -hmm. in the most, um, in the best way possible. So that the school now can give you an admission and feel comfortable like this is a person who really wants this school for this particular reason. Mm -hmm. So immediately when we are done with statement of purpose, when the school responds, they'll give us um, an offer letter, after which you will pay school fees. Mm -hmm. uh, school fees you'll pay through your visa card. When mm -hmm. you have the money in your bank account, you use that visa card, you pay for the school. And even if the school at one point says they don't want, they don't want you to admit you anymore, what they do, they refund your money. Uh, uh, this, uh, the, the, outside the outside world people are, are not like um, majority of Kenyans. If they, <laughs> if they take your money, they'll give you back. Yeah. They'll not say uh, goods once bought or are not refundable, yeah. such stories. Yeah. So there is always the surety that your money will not be lost by all means. And at the end of the day, 
you will be able to get um, to get back your your money mm -hmm. or they'll give you an admission and then from there you'll go to the embassy you will be uh, you'll go and uh, and take uh, what you call biometrics and then from biometrics you'll you'll do an, an health check test mm -hmm. and then after an health check test you will just take your flight mm -hmm. and that's how people go okay yeah. and i I don't know. I know expensive is relative, but is it not expensive? Because, I mean, um, you pay for the school over there, right? You need to pay for the flights. You need to, play, to pay for your visa. You need to pay for the, you know, checkups, the health checkup, and so many other things, as well as, uh, if I'm not wrong, many of these countries would want you to have a particular amount um, of money in your back, bank account, you know, aside from this money yeah. that you're using for That's all true, this true. so just how much is the cost mm, actually it's quite um it's quite expensive yeah. but we always say expensive is at the end of the day it's worth because even before we talk about the cost to go we need to analyze what will you earn when you're there mm -hmm. what's the what's the probability what's the amount of money that you will be able to earn how long will it take for you to pay back? Let's say if it took you a million to go to Canada, how long will it take for you to get back that one million? Mm -hmm. So that is the first thing that we do. What is the nature of jobs there? Many jobs are, um, abroad are um, you are paid per hour. So at many times it, it goes with your strength. There are people who work day and night and so on. But being a student, you must have, um, you are given limited time to decide. Mm -hmm. on exactly the number the schools will give you the number of hours that you love to to work versus the number of hours that you love to go to school mm -hmm. so every country and every school has a different um, criteria on on the number of hours that a student works and the number of hours that they go to school so immediately you go there you will notice that you will be paid per hour and you will be paid more than uh, the, uh, in th let's say in three four months you'll be you'll have paid back whatever, even if it was a million. Mm -hmm. uh, here in Kenya, what are the cost of schools? Uh, we always have like a minimum cost, for, especially for those people who want to go to do a postgraduate, let's say a master's uh, going, for, going forward. Mm -hmm. um, you must pay a minimum deposit of around an approximately 700 to 800,000. That is around 60% mm -hmm. deposit. You must have that. That one is that's, that's the that's the elephant in the house. Mm -hmm. The moment you have sorted the sixty percent, um, the sixty the, the sixty percent amount that is required by the school, yeah. then the remaining one is manageable. It's now uh, visa processing, uh, health checkups, uh, biometrics, and then the flight. So all these things they need good timing. For example, um, for flight. If you know that the, uh, the, the, uh, the, 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 uh, when you book a flight, mm -hmm. Hali, versus when you want to book a flight for next week, it's very different. Yes. So when you plan yourself ahead and then book a flight like maybe even two months ahead, you will be able to get value for your money because you will get cheaper, flight, uh, cheaper flights. Mm -hmm. But majority of our people, as normal they are Kenyans, you know they, they want to book the flight for Australia next week. Mm -hmm. And at that time, it sometimes it's really... Like completely expensive. Completely expensive. Yeah. And that is one of the, of the challenges. But what I'm guaranteeing our people is that um, there is a surety that first, your money will not go to waste. And anybody that has gone abroad, we have seen changes in our homes. Mm -hmm. Like uh, where I come from, every family that took their children abroad, now they have gone, You'll when the one starts by going and then they pull a cousin, uh, brothers, you'll find like a family, five people have already gone. Yeah. And when you see their life, they have really changed. They have mm -hmm. really changed their lives. They mm -hmm. have built homes, they have managed to buy um, a car for the parents that and so true. on. And their health is, uh, the health of the parents is even improving because they can now go for checkups. And uh, it, this is something, this is a sure, it's a sure gamble. Okay. And I'm advising even many of our parents to because this talk is about the parents. It's not about the children who want to go. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, it's the parents who will pay the school fees. Mm -hmm. It's the parents who will sell even land mm -hmm. and manage even get loans or whatever it takes for these kids to, to go to abroad. Yeah. So there is the surety, 100% assurity that you will be able to get the value for your money as a parent. All right. Still yeah. on that, we've had really bad cases 
when it comes to people who are claiming to be taking people abroad or people who are taking people abroad, including just recently, the uh, Uasengishu County was put on the spot yeah. <laughs> for that particular reason. So how, how different is your company and how sure are we that your company will do whatever it is that you're claiming will do? Because even the, the county government, mm -hmm. I mean parents totally believed them and they sold their, their lands, they sold their cars, they, mm -hmm. they did all that they could for their children mm -hmm. to be there, but mm -hmm. then see what happened. So how sure are we or how different is your company? Um, first of all, on the case of Wasigishu, that is a case uh, that's on the courts of yes. law. We, we can't, can't talk even it. talk about it now. Yeah. But um, the children who are affected, as much as they may not have been a thousand, they were many. Mm -hmm. And um, as a parent, I'm, I'm, I'm putting myself on the shoes of a parent mm -hmm. where maybe I've given my one million. I could have used it to do something else. It's quite sad and saddening. But now you have to understand that um, as much as such things happen, people have still kept going abroad. Why? It's because many people prefer to use private companies like our own now. When you use a private company, there is no dubious means. If it's the bank statement, we'll tell you we'll need a bank statement. If it's the school fees, we'll tell you this is the amount in dollars. Put the money in your card, pay the school. Mm -hmm. Immediately the school receives the money, they'll give me a, a receipt and they'll give you a receipt as a parent. So there, the probability of being conned is very minimal. In fact, it's zero. But now when you go to the political sides of deals like now the the ones that happened, mm. that is when you will encounter now the, uh, the thieves who don't care, who have no feelings about, uh, about uh, it's just about money. Mm. So for us, it's very clear. This is your fee, you pay it yourself. This is, um, the only thing that we take maybe is just an agency fee for processing your documents and for consultancy, because that is the only amount we will want. But the rest, you will pay yourself. And even if there is no admission, you, know, you won't get admission, it will re be refunded back to your account. Mm -hmm. So the probability is zero of being conned. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, we need to finish up with this interview, but I feel there's one question I really need to ask. I hope my director will allow me. If, if I already have my degree from here, probably um, the degree that I have in communication, can I just go and work there with my degree? Do many of these countries accept Kenyan degrees? Um, majority of our uh, of world countries, they will accept uh, your your documents mm -hmm. because uh, they believe like uh, the education system is uh, is up to standard. But now uh, you will have to go and upgrade as well okay. because you cannot just go and sit down and sit uh, and remain with your papers. Mm -hmm. And then the last thing that I want to say is um, we have. Um, we have courses that we offer okay. in our in our institution. Okay, very quickly um, as we yeah, we offer we offer um, IELTS, and then uh, IELTS is the English test courses, mm. and then caregiving courses, and then um, support worker courses. When I'll get time, I'll come and explain to the people mm -hmm. what all these courses entails. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. Thank you so much for coming and we appreciate, for, um, we appreciate you for the information that you have just shared with us. That was um, Innocent Kip Kemboy, who is the Director General One Team Career Coaches. Thank you.